Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. Wanted to do a video today on how to do smart plans that are longer than 90 days, or I should say how to put people on sequences that are that will last longer than 90 days. So currently right now we have the uh, limitation or maybe designed this way indefinitely that we can only do smart plans that are that have 90 days worth of sequence. So if I go to create a smart plan, smart plan one, we'll call this one. If I create a smart plan, when I pull up these options, anything that I do, I can um, send a text, I can do emails, and when I set delays in order to, to space those out a little bit more, it adds up however many days, and we cannot go past 90 days, which shows up up here. So we have some people that are getting uh, you know, a little challenged by that, of course, because we want to set up, let's say, annual plans, for example. So if we wanted to set up an annual plan and I'm stuck at 90 days, well then you know, I feel like I'm kind of out of luck. But we do have a couple options here. In a separate video, I showed how to do dynamic SMS messages, which allows us to actually set multiples. You can actually set up to six. Just to show you here, I can use dynamic messages and I can add up to six messages in here so that each time this campaign, this particular touch comes up in the smart plan, I'm able to, it'll choose a different one of those six. So this works really well if I'm sending a text message, waiting seven days, sending a text message, waiting seven days, for example, I'm able to actually just do one sequence our, our uh, two touches here where I have the send SMS and then I wait seven days and then I have it repeat this same thing. So basically it can go on, we can repeat it uh, one to six times. So if I hit set delay, we have that option. And then if I want to restart flow, it's called. So I can actually change that. I can restart the same flow up to six times and I can have six different text messages. So every time it goes back through that sequence, it'll choose a different text message. I can also set it up as unlimited and the flow will continue to run, but just keep in mind there's still only six text messages that it can rotate through. So that is just one quick example of what we can do to do more than 90 days. I did that in another video that you can check out. But in this particular video, I wanted to show more of like a one year, maybe you want to use more than just text messages. You want to do a a combination of a task, a text, and an email, for example. So let's just say the first message is going to be text. Let's, maybe we're going to do like a, a one-year uh, past client. You know, if you just closed on a client, you want to keep up with them for the next year a certain way. So what we might do is we might set a delay for seven days after they're marked as a, a past client. So one week later, and we'll send them a text message. Okay, so we can go ahead and set that up. We can just do a, a simple text message. Um, just wanted to follow up after the close of your property, right? Something, something we want to say there, okay? So then maybe we want to set a delay and we're going to go, let's say in this case, we're going to do like two weeks. So two weeks later, we're going to do a task for ourselves to give them a call. So call this past client, we'll call it or pass client call number one, maybe we'll call it. All right, so call to touch base with this client. All right, so then I'm going to, so that gives me a task. So I get a text message, so I wait seven days, then there's a text message, then I wait two weeks, and then I create a task here for pass client to give them a call. Okay, so then maybe I'm going to wait two more weeks or maybe in this case three weeks. So however we want to set this up, I'm just using this as an example. So let's say that, and then I'm going to send an email. So then we could set up email. So subject, um, it was great working with you, right? Something like that. Again, this might not be the actual language you'd like to use, but it just gives you an example here. So wanted to touch base to see how everything has been. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to wait. Let's say we're gonna set a delay. And let's say this one's gonna go three weeks now. We'll set the delay. Then I'm gonna send a text message. 
just checking in. Just checking in on you, we'll say. Okay. All right, so then we're going to set another delay. And we'll call this one another, say, three weeks. And then we'll send an email. Ask client number two, we'll just call the email two, just so we know which one it is. Two content, okay. All right, so you see here we're at day 85. So as far as we can go, we're not going to be able to go longer than uh, five days here, maybe four, let's see. Five days should make 90, and then we're going to add restart flow. Okay, so now that's one option to restart this flow, but keep in mind if you do that, then this same email is going to go. Every quarter, you're going to send the same exact set of information. So this is where some of us run into challenges because we want this to be a little more unique, a little more dynamic. So if I go ahead and instead of restart flow, I'm going to use the option to add to smart plan. Now from here, I'm able to choose from the smart plans that I already have set up in my system. So we have quite a few set up here, but the one I set up for this example is smart plan two. So I was setting up smart plan one, and then now I'm putting this into smart plan two. Maybe we want to call it quarter one or you know first set, whatever we want to call it is okay, but I ultimately I want smart plan two. So if I select smart plan two, basically at the end of that 90 days, it's now going to drop them into smart plan two. So of course from here, I just want to make sure Smart Plan 2 is already set up as well to follow whichever email, text, delay sequence that I want to have set up there. So this is a great way to set up, I mean you could technically set up a five-year plan if you really wanted to roll them over. It would just take uh, 20 different Smart Plans in order to do that. Um, so I'm not sure if that always makes sense. It might also make sense to set them back after the fourth set. So maybe we have Smart Plan 1, Smart Plan 2, Smart Plan 3, Smart Plan 4. So like a quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4. And maybe at the end of Smart Plan 4, we have it add them back to Smart Plan 1. So maybe it's just an annual touch, or, or I'm sorry, an annual sequence that you have. It's split into four different Smart Plans, but you could have it restart basically um, back to square one after that fourth one. So hopefully that helps give you some ideas on how to work with what we have available in the system. You can always email us at team at balanbrands.com. You can check out our website at balanbrands.com, but don't miss the great opportunity at understandcommand.com, which is where you're going to get all of your help and how-to videos, as well as Lori Ballin's YouTube channels, Facebook pages, and so on.